listen. On the heel of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers losing to one of the worst team, the worst team in the league, the Carolina Panthers, 21 feet, like blew out. On the heels of that, I have to make this video and it's gonna be controversial. But black, these black defensive head coordinators don't make great head coaches. Matter of fact, I go a step farther. Defensive coordinators don't make great head coaches. Now we we, we witnessing is this. You have Todd Bowles, who getting a second chance as a head coach. We need to see a second chance. I mean, he's awful. They say give these head coach, black head coaches a second chance. Gave him a second chance. He had the one of the best rosters in the league, the best quarterback of all time, and they're not playing for him. Something is internally wrong. The locker room is gone. He do, he doesn't have discipline in this team. At this point, shit, bring Bruce Aaron back. I, I like when he called people out shit. He was calling everybody. He was calling Tom shit. You need that right now. Todd Bowles is like he's. He's awful. Byron Leftwich, I don't, I don't, I, I don't even know how he got a hit a uh, offensive coordinator job. He was, he wasn't even a good quarterback. Now he was good enough to play in the NFL, but I didn't even realize he was an offensive coordinator. Like, if if if, if Tarbo, if, if Byron Leftwich, keep Tarbo, okay? That's, forget, it, it, I'm just okay. I'm just putting out it's out scenario. If you're gonna keep Tarbo, fire Byron Leftwich. Let Tom Brady. Uh, upgrade the offensive coordinator to the, the quarterback coach and let Tom Brady run the offense. Let Tom Brady do what he didn't play, man. I've been saying this forever, man. Forever. That's y'all big. Let Tom Brady run the offense. And Tom, if Tom Brady not capable enough to run the offense, then, which I think he is, but if he ain't, then you got to hold that dude, hold the, the guy you, you paying for that position accountable. By Leftwich is, is not hold accountable. That's the problem with people have because y'all don't want to hold black people accountable bro period all across the world the united states criminals criminals are getting, getting left off niggas do dumb shit we blame white people we blame the police niggas stop doing dumb shit we not holding bond left and talk about sorry as a common when it comes to the nfl and they they put their job title bro look at the people that have some success they offer a coordinator Andy Reid. Shuck my veggie won the Super Bowl last year. Uh who who else having success? You get my point. It's offensive Carl Shanahan. Offensive minded guys are having the most success. It's a pass happy lead. You need an offensive coordinator to get. Andy Reid gonna always the Chiefs always good. Even they lost Tarvin here, they always gonna be good. Even though they getting asked right now by the uh, 49ers, he just threw a pick. Cause Andy Reid's a play caller. He won 50 plus games with three different quarterbacks. Andy Reid is a great play designer. The Cowboys, the Cowboys are five and uh, two with two different starting quarterbacks that season. Without Amari Cooper, without Cedric Wilson, without uh. uh Gallup for, for, for a, a part of the season. You know why? Because even uh, the, the Kelly Moore can call plays. Kelly Moore. And when she go bad for the out for the Cowboys offense, they blame Kelly Moore. They don't. I, you notice they don't, they, they don't bring a Bob Leffridge? Y'all notice that? They never bring a Bob Leffridge. But when Tom Brady throw back-to-back 40-yard -back touchdown season and win the Super Bowl, Shannon Sharp and Stephen A. Smith be the first one on TV. We got to get this man Byron left with some love. We got to get by because we want to get Tom Brady to pray. But we got to get Byron with some love. The way, the way he's coordinating, yeah. Now, give him some blame. I want to see Stephen A. Smith and, Char and, and Shannon Sharp get on TV tomorrow and, and, and blame the coaching staff. Something is wrong. Something is particularly wrong. It's the reason why Byron left with Byron left with and Todd Bowles didn't get head coaching office. There's a reason. We're standing up. They got the reins to the organization. We see it now. I I propose five both of them. This is my if I'm if I'm Tom Brady if I'm the, the, the GM if I'm them I think I think it's like Jason Light if I'm him I will go get Sean I'll five both of them and go off of Sean Payton a ten year deal two hundred million dollars a hundred million dollars like they did hundred million dollars like they did uh uh. Uh, the Raiders guy, uh, who they messed over, Chucky. What's his goddamn name? 
what's his name? What's the give, give me the Raiders coach name that they 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 let him go because he he made some racial slurs or some stuff. What's his name? What's my boy name? Used to be in the Monday Night Book. Boo. Won the Super Bowl with Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What's his name? It get back. It get to me. I will offer. I will offer Sean uh, uh, Sean Payton that deal to Coach Tom Brady. I will do it right now. I will be sitting together right now in my in my, in my living room. I will invite Tom Brady over from the fight back from Carolina, and we have to discuss it. We have to fire them. We'll bring in Sean Payton. We have to do that. That's the only reason why I can see Tampa Bay making the playoff this year. If they fire one of those those coaches, and I say fire both of them and bring in Sean Payton. Right there, Sean Payton had all, all that offense assist with Drew Brees in, the, in their dome with Drew Brees a shorter arm. Because he's a great offensive coordinator. He know the play design. He know the play call. There's a reason why Andy Reid is the play caller for the Chiefs. Not Eric Reid. That's why he's not getting the head coaching job. But we're putting, them, we're putting these black people, these black faces attached to these great offensive uh, coordinators and say, oh, yeah, they're doing a great job. No, they're not. They put that. They've been off. Let's call it off. I ain't never heard about Bond Leffish until Tom Brady came now. They, they saw putting that. Yeah, he's doing a good job. Man, he's awful. Tom Bowles is awful. He's awful with the Jets. He turned the Jets. Turned the Jets the, uh, bad. Jets got, they, they didn't go good. Like, he talking about he didn't have a quarterback. He got a quarterback now. He's playing awful. I mean, he's coaching awful. Tom Brady, they want to bring up Tom Brady. He's the quarterback. He's the quarterback. He, he the guy. He's playing awful. Shut up. He's playing. He's been bad. Can you explain Mike Evans dropping a 65-yard touchdown ball? Can you blame Tom Brady for completing 67% of his passes, eight touchdowns, one interception? The dude has one interception through seven games. And he throwing the ball over 40-plus times a game. You throw the ball that many times. He didn't been over 300 pass attempts with no interception. But he's playing horrible. That's Shannon Sharp tomorrow. That's Stephen A. Smith. That's all these Nick Wright. That's these, all these talking points. That's Chris Pessar. That's Royal Parker talking point. They're going to say he's playing bad, but he's got... Over 350 attempts since his last interception. Now in the red zone era, can he in the red zone era? He's part of the offense, but that's play calling. That's play calling. That falls on play calling. Your running game, you run the same running plays up the middle. Can't get one yard. How many times this season running for Leonard Fred got stopped for one yard and they had to, they turn the ball over now? How many times? It's the bro. It's, anybody bring up Tom Brady names and he's a problem. You should get slapped. It's the offensive line and the, and the coaching, from the head coach to the defense to the offensive coordinator. The defense is bad. The defense bad. They you supposed to be your strong point. They're giving up 10, 10 minute drives. I said that last year, bro. I said the last year I should have fired Tobo after that shit he did with the Rams. So when he made him head coach, I was kind of happy because Bruce Arians. I say Tom Brady run his offense, but I'm like, make him the head coach. Okay, this is some SJW shit. Making the black dude the head coach. When I wanted him fired, he should have been fired after that loss to the uh, Rams. Giving up, letting the Triple Crown leader Cooper Cup wide the fuck open. All out blitz. And the kicker wasn't that great. He just missed a uh, 40 some yard field goal. And, and it, it, you would call it all out blitz. And now it, 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 like, like, come on, bro. Like, I, I, had, a, I had enough, I had enough of watching bad coaching. Now something needs to. If something don't change by tomorrow, by Monday, they don't make a big trade for a player to get some speed on the outside. Trade Chris Godwin and Russell Gage, one of them guys, because it's not speed. We got Julio Jones. He's no. He's a no show. He's supposed to be opposite of Mike Evans. I'm not gonna blame Mike Evans' job because, of course, it it, it, it it hurt hurt them in his in his loss. But Mike Evans been a best player for the last. He's still one of the best players. Yo, still almost had 100 yards. We'd had 160 yards. We'd caught that pass on the touchdown. They say Tom Brady don't throw touchdown passes. We threw two. He threw one. Dude dropped it. Can't win for lose, bro. With the media, man. Y'all like y'all y'all like. I'm done.